Hey everyone, welcome again to another video here on the Fox Tech YouTube channel. This time we talk about live photos and how you can play them on a Mac. You can see I'm recording this video with the iPhone, but the background is on my Mac. So I'm going to show it to you right now. The first thing which you may be interested in is to share it to your Mac with an airdrop. So I have a photo which is live. You can see it is live right here. It tells me that and I can hold down on it and it moves. And let's say that I want to share it, so I'm going to click on the share icon, click on airdrop, and the MacBook is right here. So I'm going to be sharing it directly to my Mac. Once it is finished, it shows up on my Mac, and it just shows as this image. So when I just look it up, nothing really happens. I cannot play it. If I double click it, not just the preview and open it up fully, I still cannot really do anything. I still cannot play it. So the way you can do it is much different on a Mac. So what you're going to have to do is to get the photos app. So if you open up the photos app on your Mac, you can see for me, it is completely empty. I don't have anything inside of there. So yeah, I mean, that's okay, of course, because we're going to add some pictures there. So what you can do is to connect a camera directly, drag and drop the pictures and to and turn it into a different things. But for example, I have my iPhone here connected and I know that for a fact that this picture is going to be a live photo. So yeah, it just shows you that it's, it's a video actually, because live photo is nothing more than a video, but I'm going to import the two selected pictures, which are going to show up in here and it, uh, they are going to be saved as a video because it is a live live video. So if I go in here, I'm going to click on that and import it as well. Import some other ones, import three selected. You can see that, yeah, these are the live photos. So you have to put them inside of the photos app. The point of the video is that you can only play the live photos within the uh, iOS photos app like this. And now you can play them. So this one is not even a live photo. When I open up this one, this one is not either, but this one is. So you have to put it inside of this. But of course, it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you have to connect your iPhone through a cable to a computer, because this is how I was able to get to my iPhone section. Besides that, you can, of course, get to the, the um, Finder or uh, App section and drag it over in here. And it should work as well, theoretically. Because if you open it up, yes, you can see you, you have a live photo as well. Although this was an image which I was not able to play within the Finder app. When I opened it up, it was just a still image. But when I dragged it over to the Photos app on the Mac, I was now able to play it as a live photo. If that's something that you want, you're going to be required to use the official Photos app. Oh, okay. But the next thing which you can do is to use an iCloud link because this is something which I've been using a lot. So when I go to my Safari and go to iCloud.com and I go to the iCloud photos, I can log in there and browse through all of my files. For example, I have a couple of images in here and this is actually a live photo which I shared or saved synced with my iCloud account. And in this case, what I can do is click on the share and I'm going to be able to copy the link. So once I copy the link, it's going to be an iCloud link, which I can share to anyone, even on the computers, whatever. And that link is going to be accessing a live photo. So I then have the option to share it through messages, email, whatever I want. And the person can click on it, get to my iCloud library, sharing stuff and the download or have access to that live photo. So that's how it works. That's how you can play the live photos on your Mac computer. Now I'm going to wrap up the video right now, but before I need to show you this. So this is a Fox tech educational platform. It is free to join. The link is down below in the description and inside you can find some in-depth guides for different apps, a free video editing course and more stuff is going to be added in the future. So make sure to join it right now. There are a bunch of people learning already. So go ahead and do that and I will see you inside of there. But for now, I'm going to wrap up the video. If you found it useful, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the Fox Tech down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out until then.